we have Penny Kotlin Gassetti from Toledo, Ohio. As a matter of fact, she is a, an associate professor at the University of Toledo teaching higher education administration. Aha, uh -huh. and you're accompanied by uh, your friend uh, Ron, who is also uh, an associate professor. What do you teach? Higher ed administration. No kidding, the same subject. Ah, so it was fate. Two professors meet on the campus. That's right. And, uh, and the rest is history. And the rest <laughs> is history. Right, exactly. Whatever it'll be. We have a few minutes left, Penny, so you know the rules, you know about the lifelines, you know how much money you're playing for. Let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, Penny, one at a time. Hundred dollars. Here it is. The practice of catching fish through a hole cut in a frozen lake is called what? Freeze angling? Ice fishing, cold trolling, burr. Burr, no, ice fishing, B, final answer. Yes, for $100. $200. The common excuse made when a person receives notice of a late bill is the check is where? In the mail, under the bed, around the corner, arriving by motorcade. That would be A, in the mail, final answer. And you're right, it's in the bag. $300. In the board game Clue, which of the following characters is a potential murderer? Mr. Green Jeans, Scarlet O'Hara, Colonel Mustard, Tickle Me Elmo. That would be Colonel Mustard in the library. That will be C, final answer. Very good, Colonel Mustard, the right guy there. Going for $500. What product's longtime ad campaign encouraged consumers to buy it just for the taste of it? Diet Coke, Listerine, Grape Nuts, Hershey's Chocolate Bar. That would be A, Diet Coke, final answer. Got that one right, too, for $500. Going for 1000 Which of the following U.S. government organizations can declare laws unconstitutional? House of Representatives, Cabinet, Senate, Supreme Court. I'm almost positive I know the answer, but I just want to be certain. That would be D, Supreme Court, final answer. Absolutely right for $1,000. <laughs> that one over, but you got them all right. Here it is for $2,000, Penny. All lines of longitude meet at which of the following continents? Asia, Africa, Antarctica, North America. Attitudes horizontal, longitudes vertical, so it should be... Antarctica, final answer. Right for 2000. Good goal. Okay, that sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Penny will be back here tomorrow night, and joining her will be 10 people who got voted on to the Millionaire Island. And they are Craig Barker, J.W. Stacy, Kevin Hirsch, Wendell Henyo, Philippe Geschmet, Gary Itner. Ross Nuremberg, David Becker, Steve Silverberg, and Tanya Boudreaux. Hey, if you always wanted to be a contestant on our show, now's your chance. Our phone lines are open for our March shows. Since you're 18 years or older and you'd like to qualify, pick up a touchstone phone and call 1-800-433-8321. A limit of one call per person each contest day. Phone lines are open until Monday, March 5th, 2 a.m. Eastern Time. So that gives you plenty of chances to call. Keep on trying, and good luck. An all-new Drew Carey Show next on ABC, so don't touch that dial. We'll be back with Penny tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central, when she'll be playing for $1,970,000. From New York, everybody, good night. <laughs>